What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. Today's video, we're going to be like text firing this M4 to see what type of damage it does to the orange. So, first I just want to say this video, it may be graphic. So, I want to say, you know, if you're not really into this type of stuff, like, just don't watch it. Um, but everything's going to be safe. This, this gun is a replica of an M4. It's a BB gun slash pellet gun. So, not firing a real assault rifle indoors. But I just wanted to kind of see what it was going to do to the orange type of damage it would do between the BB and the pellet. Um, I've done a previous previous video. I didn't post it yet. And we did a laundry detergent container. And um, we did the difference comparison between the BB and the pellet what type of damage it would do to, for either or. Um, we did that. And then we also did um, a soda can um, and that one really came out like I kind of wanted it to. Um, we did a comparison on the soda can, the difference between the BB and the pellet, what damage it would do. So um, just playing around a little bit, trying to like do some testing, kind of show people, you know, if someone's wanting to purchase one of these, you know, what it can and can't do. Um, it's not a super, super powerful BB gun. Um, it is one of the ones that you have to pump yourself and the directions state that you can pump it five times for 350, um, I think it's FPS, I think it is. Um, you can go, I think they said seven times, it's like 600 and 10 times, it's like 700. So, the more you pump it, basically, the more power you're going to get. Um, I purchased this gun because there are little, like, rodents and stuff on my property that sometimes get on my deck, stuff like that. So, just trying to keep them from trying to enter the house or get too comfortable with getting close to the house, so that's the reason I purchased it. I honestly don't think that it's powerful enough um, for what I need it for. So, this is part of some of the testing that we're going to do. Um, I have a good friend of mine who has a... can't think of the name of it, but basically he says it's, it's equivalent to a twenty two rifle. And um, I think it takes CO2. This one does not take CO2. And that was the reason I kind of bought it because I didn't want something to take CO2 because you have to keep changing those canisters as well as loading it. It's too much work in that. This one, you just load it up, pump it, and it's ready. But at the same time, if you think about it, it's kind of sort of the same thing. You know, um, the one that my friend has, he said he only has to like cock it one time and it's ready to go. So I'm thinking about trying to find something that's a little bit more powerful without CO2. But if I can't, then I just have to go and buy something with the CO2 canister. Like I said, it's just for, um, you know, small animals that's on my property, I'm trying to keep them away. Um, so that's the reason I got it. Um, but it's a pretty, nice gun um, very realistic um, it has a removable clip that I'm going to show you now and the clip is right there and there's a little button in the front that you can move and it holds the pellet container to the inside of it so like you can load it up with pellets and you can 
is stored in there for when it's time to reload. So I found that was pretty cool. Um, but yep, yeah, and then the stock. buy this two different ways so I bought it where it costs more and it um, it comes with two sites and uh, it comes with a couple of other things like targets stuff like that if you get the cheaper one it said that it didn't come with the sites or the target or anything like that so it was only like I think like seven or eight dollars different between seven and like twelve dollars different to get everything. So but truth be told, I'm thinking that the gun comes with everything. They just figure out a way to charge you more for the gun. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Not to get off target to off topic too much. But I bought a trailer. It's a, a 40 foot gooseneck trailer made by Big Tex. I bought that trailer brand new 2022 cash money for it. So I asked the dealership, I said, hey, this trailer doesn't come with a spare tire. Like a little over $20,000 for this trailer. And they said, um, they don't come with a spare, but we can sell you a new spare. And I'm like, but when I buy vehicles, they come with a spare. So why doesn't the trailer come with a spare? And when I was like a young child, I remember like people buying trailers and they came equipped with a trailer. I mean, with, excuse me, with a spare tire. So I'm like, they gotta be taking these spares off when they come in from shipping and reselling them to make extra money. He told me my spare tire was like a hundred bucks. So you think about it, you know, they sell 10 spare tires, that's a thousand dollars right there. That's probably the light bill, you know, for the business. It's not right, but hey, that's what they do. So I told him, I said, you know what? I have a couple other trailers at home and I have a couple of extra spares at home. I just mount one of those on instead of paying y'all an extra hundred bucks. So that's what I did. So with this gun right here, like I said, I'm pretty sure all of this stuff comes with it. They just break it down to sell it to you different and make a few more bucks. So that's what I think. Y'all leave a comment down below and let me know if y'all feel the same way or did I just put y'all on to some game. But pretty nice gun overall. Like I said, it's not super powerful. Uh, you know, you might have a kid or something like that that wants one playing around with. They can't really hurt a whole lot with it. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken that you can pump this more than 10 times. I did it up to like, I think 15 or 20. And I was a little bit afraid because it was like 10 times max. And I was like, okay, so if I pump it more than 10 times, I may put too much pressure on it. I don't know if it's going to explode, if it's going to fire by itself. So I think I did it up to like 15 to 20 times. And of course, the more times you pump it, it gives you more power. So, um, you know, that's at your own risk if you decide to do that. You know, like I said, I've tested it up to about 20 and it was fine. But anything over 20, I'm not sure what it would do. But it did do a significant more damage at 20 pumps. So um, without further ado though, um, we're gonna go ahead and probably go ahead and get ready to wrap this video up. As I said, this gun will shoot pellets and BBs and that's one of the reasons that I really would like it in, um, cause it does both. Um, you can buy it with the sights, which you gonna need sights as we're trying to shoot. Um, it's a 177 caliber, it's a 4.5 millimeter BB, and um, 
five millimeter pellet as well. And uh, just make sure we're going over everything. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Any questions, drop a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button for me. Please like and share this video with your friends. And stay tuned for the next video.